The charges, sir. I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead. Oh, Ross. May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls. We're pregnant. <laughs> Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duck the next time you come knocking. Remove them! What's your name? Philip, Ken Moore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he's tough without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. A massage his ah! feet with these points. Stop that! Hey! Quiet! Hey! Quiet! Quiet! Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. Hold 
you. Where do you think you're going? We've lost the bastard. Stop. Oh, you. No, you don't. Get back here, you clothes. Maybe he has friends looking out for him. Or money, like Steve Bonnet from Barbados. No, no, they hanged him too. Did they? Aye. Blubbering and bawling. He collapsed at the gallows. <laughs> Weeping like a little lamb. Not <laughs> <laughs> Serves the bastard right. You weren't much of a friend, Jack Rackham, nor an able sailor, neither. But you were strange and lively. And you made me laugh more than once. And that's enough to make me sorry for seeing you like this. I hope you found a lasting peace down there among the dead. I need some help here! Come on! Don't Hello! Me. Help me, damn it! Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. 
Oh, oh, oh. I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Uh, uh. Lean on me, Mary. Come on. I can't. Search every step. Come on, that's it. You're all right. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh no. Oh God! Oh. What will you do now? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but they suit you. Good fortune to you, Edwin. 